Hello, this is Gary Simon of GarySimon.net and DesignCourse.com, and today we're going to design this logo right here. And to those of you who are new to Illustrator uh, or design in general, this will look like it's kind of complex, but it's actually extremely simple to do. So I'll show you how it's done. So I'm using Adobe Illustrator CS6, and I'm going to go to File New, Width and Height 850 by 600 points, and you can use whatever fits your screen well. I'm going to hit OK. First thing we're going to do is create a sphere. So left click, drag out, and select the ellipse tool. And for the stroke, we're going to remove that. So we'll just put zero. And for the foreground color, we'll just select red for now. Hold shift and the alt key together, and then left click and drag out. Now we're going to, du to duplicate this layer and hit control C and control F to duplicate it. As you can see, we have two paths here now. And we're going to change the foreground color to this top one to white. So select the eyedropper tool and click the background. Then select the move tool and we will hold shift to scale down just a little bit. And then we will go to object, path, divide objects below. Now what that does is the object below uh, gets divided. That's obviously <laughs> pretty self-explanatory. And let's select this sphere right here and delete it. And now we're going to take this and rotate it. Just up to right around here. Uh, actually, I'll adjust that a little bit more. All right, right there is good. And then we're going to take the rectangle tool and draw straight over it right around there. Now we're going to go to Object, Path, Divide Objects Below. Then we're going to take the top portion that we divided and hit the delete, the delete key. So now what I want to do is give this a radial gradient. So we'll select Radial, hit the G key, and adjust it right on the edge, the center point. We'll take the white color picker and we'll select RGB up here in the corner. Then we'll also go to File, Document Color Mode, RGB Color. And we will change that color to a red slash orangish color. And then over here we'll double click on this black one, change to RGB. And that's pretty good for now. We can adjust it later. Actually, I'm going to adjust it real quickly right now by moving this over, left clicking to add a new one, and then just make this one a little bit brighter of a yellow. All right. So now we're going to take this and we're, we're going to duplicate it by hitting Control C and then Control F. As you can see, we have the new one here. And I'm going to move it over to around the center point of the original and then I'm going to scale it just a little bit by holding shift okay and then I'm gonna select this top one object path divide objects below so now we have two different paths here now we're gonna take the one to the left hit the G key and drag out from the very upper left hand corner so what that does is give us this uh, 3D sort of appearance. Now I'm going to take the magnifying glass and zoom up. And sometimes when you divide objects, you get a very, very faint sort of uh, white area. And so what you can do is take the object beneath, which is right here, is the very first one, take this anchor point and just move it up a notch or two with your arrow keys and that gives a, that gives uh, gets rid of that annoyance alright so now what we can do is take both of these paths and group them so hit control G and it creates a new group right here now I'm going to take this right here this group and duplicate it control C control F we'll select the bottom one and if you don't want these blue lines and these anchor points here, you can just hit Control-H to hide those. All right, so 
we're taking the bottom one and I'm going to hold, sh actually I'm going to use the right arrow key on my keyboard and just move it over to right around there. Okay. And I'm going to change the color here of this and I'll do that by going to edit, edit colors and then I can go to adjust color balance and this will allow us to experiment with the uh, the hue of this object so what we can do is go to preview and we can start playing around with these red green and blue pickers uh, you can use whatever you color you want I think I'll just go kind of like with a yellow color right there and then hit OK and then I'm going to take that one right there and duplicate that again control C control F select the one at the bottom use my right arrow key and we're going to change this color so go to edit edit colors adjust color balance put this up here hit preview All right, I think that color is pretty good right there and hit OK so now we have these uh, I actually don't want the end points right here I kinda want it to end behind this red arc right there so what I'll do is zoom up just a little bit with the magnifying tool and I'm going to take the pen tool and click right around here I'll hit control H to view what I'm working with and then left click and drag out right there and just go all the way around and end up right there at the original point now hit control one to go back to hundred percent view and I'm going to select this blob that I just created along with these two layer groups then I'm going to just move them down and away from that original one. Select this, go to Object, Path, Divide Objects below. And then I can take the Direct Selection tool and just hit the Delete key. So now I can take these both and move them back up here. and that gives us that effect alright so now I'm going to take the type tool with a black foreground color and I'm just going to type right there I just kinda of made up this name for the tutorial select the move tool and hit hold shift and drag it up and I'm going to change to a font that I have that I like called Trade Gothic. And take the letter spacing in a little bit. Maybe size it down. Actually, in the original, I had it placed over here. hit control shift and O to convert the text here to outline and that is basically it now sometimes uh, if you're designing a, a logo for a client uh, you always want to show them you know a version just with a white background uh, and also a version with uh, just 100 percent black and white um, but sometimes it's nice to showcase it in you know a different type of background that they wouldn't expect so we can go ahead and do that real quick and I'll show you a cool way to create um, patterns and so we'll select these three layer groups and we'll group them actually first we'll duplicate them control C control F and then group them and we'll put it at the very bottom so now let's move this up and I'm going to scale it down a lot control H so we can actually look at it now what we can do is go to object pattern 
make. Hit OK. All right, so now we're in this new pattern edit mode. And what's really cool is we can make changes here. And I'm first going to select all three of these groups and group them again. And now we can also, let me move that over real quick. And these are our pattern options. Uh, we can play with these a lot. Let's see here. Grid, we can change to brick by row. You can see it kind of staggers them. And I can actually scale this down. And you can see they're not so close to each other anymore. And we can also change the width here and the height so that they're spaced out even more. I mean, just how about 120? And then over here for copies, let's do nine by nine. Uh, and then we can go to object or no edit edit colors, adjust color balance, and actually I'm going to hit cancel. I want to go to edit edit colors, saturate. Hit preview. And I don't want it completely desaturated, but just a tad bit. So negative 90%. I'll hit OK. So now we can hit Done. And you can see that whole area goes completely away. So what we can do is create a rectangle over this entire area. We'll move it to the bottom. And we'll. this is our new pattern that we just created. If we select that that gives us the pattern. Now it's still a little bit too, uh, it sticks out too much, so I'll go to transparency and take it down to around 30%. Then we can also lock this so we can't select it. Um, and then further we can, actually I'm going to take that and duplicate it, Control C, Control F. We'll lock that one and we'll give this a gradient, a radial gradient. And I'll change this to white, change this one to a gray, and let's see here, maybe increase this a little bit, and there you go, uh, that is the logo design. Um, at, obviously you can see it's very easy to create something that actually looks like it was potentially complex to make. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Check out designcourse.com, and that is all. Thanks.